Hey everybody, it's me Rodney at Rusty Relics and today we're going to be doing our uh, steampunk book project and we're going to start off by using some Dixie Bell flat clear coat in order to seal this thing up so we don't get uh, makes it easier for us to paint we put it on smoother and add some water that way that fabric doesn't absorb all the chalk paint All right, right here we're going to start with some cotton and some uh, Yankee Blue. Uh, links will be down in the, in the comment section. I'm using the, the bell brush. The end is broke off, so all I have left is that. It's three years old. So I'm going to start off by putting some white in the middle. Then we're going to mix in some Yankee Blue around the sides and kind of ombre that in. We're going to get it kind of muddy looking. You'll see here in just a second muddy in the paint start trying to fade them and blend them together to give me a smooth transition I'm liking it so far missy always panics whenever i uh pour paint directly onto the project but i found it's just the easiest way for me to be able to do it so go back in add some blue start shaping in around and this is a constant work in progress for me whenever I do some painting like this add a little bit more white drizzle some blue around the sides and that way I can have like a two layers that I work with and then I'll flip my brush around and do the same thing on that side all in all this is a pretty cool little project I'm glad that I uh, said I would do it so when I tear out mine, I tear mine out differently than Missy does. So what I do is, is I take my fingernail and just rub it along the edge and scrape it, basically. And I tear off pieces of the image that I don't want to keep. That way it gives me a better transition on the piece. Less painting back in. So here we go. We're going to use some a little bit more white paint because the middle just wasn't the way I wanted it to be same size for the the uh, paper and then see along the edge there i tap in i just make basically blot the paint around so if there is an area of the decoupage paper that's going to be rough it'll come through and it'll look like it's part of the piece instead of standing out so i'm just fine tuning it there let's put our mod podge on we're using matte. I use a one inch flat brush to do it with. It's just easier. Same brush Missy always uses. We tend to use brushes for a long time. I really liked the image placement. Go through in some areas I didn't actually get glue down on. Coat those up. I'm just using my fingernail to fine tune that piece right there. Got my gears. I was going to use hot glue for that, but I decided against it because it was kind of messy. So we're going to glue it with some Mod Podge. Because, I mean, why not? It is a glue. I put it on a little thick right there. I'm going to have to get some of it off in a minute. But, yeah. It turned out pretty good. So when this is all dried up we're gonna have to go back in and, and brush back inwards because there's a little too much white for my taste i spray the uh, water on top of the yankee blue paint to keep it from drying out because this footage is sped up quite a bit but yeah see i'm just building in i'm brushing in and then i'm dabbing brushing and dabbing that way i can dab inwards into the image and if you get paint on the gears, if you do this yourself and you get some paint on the gears, don't worry about it because you can just wet your finger and wipe the, wipe the paint right off the gears. I actually use a paper towel right there. In a little bit, I'll go back in and use my finger to dab it away. It's pretty easy filling it in, making it the way I want it to be because I'm just dabbing that paintbrush. And that's just a... Uh, I forgot. I actually forgot what brush that is I'm using. It came in an art kit. 
uh, kit with a bunch of art brushes that I bought. And it gives you some really good texture. If you're using something other than chalk paint, like if you're doing acrylics. Go ahead and paint the side of the book while I'm at it. Make sure my trim's painted. I was careful uh, to not try to get any paint on the pages itself because I just wanted to paint the outside of the book. I didn't want to actually ruin the book. See there, I'm just dabbing water on my fingers and wiping it off. So right now it's looking pretty good. I kind of like the way it's appearing. So we're going to go in and put some gilding wax on it. I started to use bronze first because bronze really, I like the way bronze looks. Uh, broke my key there that I was using, so I'm going to bust out a, a, a Father's Day present that my girls bought me. Yes, it's a ginormous pocket knife. I don't know why I used that, but it was close by, so it was just something funny to use. Be careful if you have one of those because they'll spring back and cut your finger pretty good. Don't ask me how I know. So I'm looking at the bronze, wipe it on my finger. It's too dark. It's not what I'm wanting because I'm wanting to trim the edges of the book. And it's a pretty color and it would have worked well, but it just, it's against the dark, the Yankee blue, it just wasn't going to be very effective. So we're going to go with the gold. Gildan wax is really good. Gives you a lot of sh a lot of shine. It gives you a really good edge effect on any piece that you're doing. And you just take and rub it on your finger. You can use a little brush. I always wear gloves with it. I don't like the way it smells. And I don't like the way it feels on my fingers, so I always use a, I always use gloves. The problem with a glove is it gets a little sloppy, so you have to be careful. So I found a groove, and I made a groove in the glove as I was working, and I would just rub my fingers together to get more gold on them. And here we're just really adding in a lot more because I want to trim the binding and the edge of it and get them about the same thickness. And on this, I get kind of sloppy, but... I don't know. I think it really looked cool and gave it a worn look. In the end, I thought this project was really fun. And I actually liked it so much that we're going to keep it. Oh, and I used parchment paper on the inside to keep the paint from messing up the pages. I think parchment paper works really good for that. But if you guys like what we're doing, don't forget to hit that notification button for next time we put a video out. And uh, if you get a chance, subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook. We're always posting pictures of stuff that we do or we bring into the store for sale. Y'all have a good day.